Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm going to bring you guys the top three smart big brain investments that you can make if you have any extra cash laying around. I get the question all of the time. Hey, Zeke, I got a thousand dollars. I got a hundred dollars. Where are some stocks that I can invest into to make me some money? And I always say, hey, please do your own research. Um, you can invest it here, but but really, what is your risk tolerance, right? Now, you can invest inside of these stocks. You can do options and all of that, and you can make a lot of money, but you can also lose a lot of money. Everybody always say, hey, I'm not trying to lose no money. I'm just trying to make some money over time, and this is going to be the biggest big brain smart investments that I'm bringing you guys today that I actually do myself to help grow my portfolio to a six-figure portfolio in just a couple of years guys and you could do the same thing too as long as you follow these big brain strategies that I'm about to bring you guys today because these tips these secrets these tricks is the same thing the millionaires use I'm giving it to you for free free so if you want it for free go ahead and hit that thumbs up button that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos but before we dive into it before i give you guys the secret this video is brought to you by moomoo sign up now by clicking the link down in the description if you deposit hundred dollars you can get up to 16 free stocks with those free stocks they offer plenty of different tools inside of their investing platform they offer um, commission free trading commission free investment back in the day you used to have to pay just to invest this you used to have to pay just to sell and now they're offering it commission free you could buy stocks before market hours during market hours after market hours i'm telling you guys this is one of the best promotions they had to date so i'm um, going ahead click that link down in the description sign up deposit 100 dollars, get your 16 free stocks it takes no time to sign up guys so don't miss out on the opportunity so let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. The first big brain strategy that I'm gonna bring you guys is actually called a stock split. Now when companies do a stock split statistically, this is a very smart investment depending on the company. So you only wanna do this on good high quality companies that have stock splits. Now when you're asking yourself, what is a stock split? Stock split is basically when these companies take a share of their portfolio and divide it in however many portions that they wanted to divide it into. So for this example, we're going to use Apple. Apple back in 2020 had a four to one stock split. So for every one share that you own of Apple, after that stock split, you're going to own four shares of Apple, but the price is going to be divided in force. So it's just like having one big pile of rice and you section off that rice in half, then you section off that rice in half again. It's the same amount of rice on the plate. It's the same amount of rice on the board, but it's just sectioned into four different parts. Now you're saying, hey, if it doesn't change the value of the company, if the price really doesn't change, if I still have the same rice on the board, how does that help me make money and be a smart investor? Well, let me explain that to you right quick. The first thing is that it is a strategical, psychological play by these big companies. Now, stock splits, they can make shares seem more affordable to small retail investors, just like us. We are small retail investors. Even though the, the value of the company doesn't change, this can lead to increased buying. Now, basically, if you see Apple for $500, right? If you see Apple for $400, a lot of retail investors like us, when not buy one single share of apple for 400 dollars because it just seems too expensive now if they had a four to one stock split and apple price came all the way down to 100 dollars, more people would be inclined to buy sell trade and invest into apple because it seems more affordable so on a psychological play that is also smart now this is why this is a big brand investment that's this is why stock splits are good investments to invest into and this is why they're smart to invest into it's because of the long-term effects after you buy stocks after they have a stock split because of the long-term effects of the stocks that you buy after they have a stock split now there was this study conducted by david he was the lead school business at the university of colorado he looked at the performance of these stocks during the three-year period following a stock split he found on average that companies that had a stock split outperformed the stock market within that that 365 days within that year by eight percent and that outperformed the stock market by 12 percent over the next three years after they had their stock split now that who just imagine the if the stock market usually goes up six to eight percent every single year 
and stock splits outperform that by 8% in a year and by 12% in three years, that is smart investment, guys. Now, that is a study shown of looking at the top companies that have stock splits. Now, you don't want to just invest into any old raggedy daggedy company that has a stock split. You want to invest into good quality blue chip style companies that have stock split. They don't happen often, but when they do, guys, that is something that you might want to peek into, do a little bit more research to see if you want to buy this company if they're having a stock split that year. Now, I'm not saying that uh, stocks only go up or they only perform well after the stock split. I'm just showing statistically speaking, good quality stocks that have four to one stock splits, three to one stock splits, five to one stock splits outperform the stock market by 8% in a year and 12% over the next three years. So let me show you a quick example right quick. All right, so here we are on Moomoo. Moo. Let's type in Apple AAPL. It's the ticker symbol right here on Apple. And if we go down to the weekly chart right here and go all the way back, Apple had a four to one stock split back in 2020. So that is around around in this area right here. They had a four to one stock split later on in the year. So around 90-ish dollars or so in this area in late 2020, they had a stock split. So Apple, as you guys can see, is is doing fairly well going all the way from 80 to 90 dollars from the stock split to up to ahead of all-time high of 197 dollars so doubling going up 100 percent within the three-year period is definitely outperforming the stock market and the next one that we're going to look at is that had a stock split back in 2020 was tesla tsla all right so if we go all the way back to 2020 um when tesla was already booming they had a stock split back in 2020 right here when was they stock split that stock split was august 2020 so let's look at that right quick august 8 2020 so around the 167 dollar price point and tesla had an all-time high of 414 dollars so they definitely did um meet that up eight percent over the next year after that stock split and they did meet that up 12 percent, and they did meet that up 12 percent out over the next three years because it's 2023 right now and tesla is still performing fairly well up to 271 dollars and 30 cents at the time of the recording of this video so yeah guys Guys, um, I tell people all the time, I'm an investor. I'm not a trader. I really don't trade that much. I do a, a option trade, but I sell options and I only really swing trade when I see a good um, entry point. But I tell people all the time, I'm an investor and I make smart investments. And that is one of the smartest investments I can make is when a good quality company come in, have a stock split when their um, portfolio is already looking good. I know that statistically speaking, that they're gonna perform pretty well over the next three years. I go in and I buy up a lot of shares as long as it's a good quality company that I do not mind holding over the next five, 10, 15 years. Now let's move over to big brain play number two. And that is when companies buy back their shares. Now for this example, we're gonna use Microsoft because Microsoft usually has some of the largest buybacks out there inside of the um, stock market. Now, a company buyback is when they go out and they buy out shares that's out there inside the stock market that's flowing around. And when there's less shares out there, right? When there's less shares out there, it makes their the shares that the investors have and their own shares that they have more valuable, right? Because when there's less out there, the shares that you do have is more valuable. Now, exactly what does that mean? It means that when companies buy back their shares, they have a, there's less shares out there. They mean they have a higher earning per share when they have their earnings report. So it kind of do make that earnings report look a little better. And they also believe that their shares is undervalued and they're going to go out there and buy up a bunch of shares at that price. So it shows even more faith inside of that company. So if you ever took a uh, economics class, you know, the supply and demand, when there's a lot of supply, demand is low. When there's the a high demand and supply low, uh, the price goes to the roof so that's why you want to have less shares out there and microsoft has one of the largest company buybacks out there the last one they announced was back in 2020 for 4.9 billion dollar share buyback of their shares that's out there floating that is huge guys now don't just go out there and say hey this company is having a buyback but they're only buying back 10 million dollars or this company's only buying back 100 million dollars which is still a lot of money but microsoft announced a 4.9 billion dollar buyback what does that mean when companies have a large buyback like that 
um there's going to be a lot less shares out there right statistically speaking again usually when companies have a large buyback of their shares they outperform the stock market over the next year all right so here we are on mumu this is the kicker guys ticker symbol msft is microsoft now as you guys can see over the last couple of years all the way from 2019 to 2023 microsoft has been killing it you're wondering why microsoft almost do a buyback every single year which is completely insane it's not always huge like 4.9 billion sometimes it's a little less sometimes it's a little more but as you guys can see the stock usually it goes up it's a very blue chip dependable company that when they announce that they're having company buybacks this might be one that you start the dollar cost average in maybe pick up a couple of shares here and there it is a very smart play to me to go in and look at other companies that are doing buybacks that i believe that i'm willing to hold over the next five ten years that i will invest into if they have a large enough company buyback that i'm willing to invest into so let me know what would you guys do down in the comment section if your favorite company announces that they're having a um a share buyback what would you do would you sit back and hold on to your shares would you sell your shares or would you go ahead and buy up more shares of that company that you believe in what would you do it is a smart play to me remember uh when a company has stock splits they usually go up statistically speaking big companies have big buybacks over the next year it usually go up all right so the last big brain play i'm going to tell you guys those uh stock splits is usually when the stock market is performing well company buybacks is usually when the, um the economy is performing well what are you investing to when the kind of economy is kind of trading sideways are you really believe that it's going to fall over the next couple of years well the smart investment on uh, the smart thing that i have been doing over the last couple of years that statistically speaking um this strategy does well in a recession it does well when the market is going sideways and it goes and it does well when the market is falling and that is investing into dividend kings now usually i talk about dividends that's when companies give back money to their investors either every month or every quarter in the form of dividends just for saying hey thank you for holding our shares i usually talk about dividend stocks and how i make passive income that way but in and other times i talk about dividend arist aristocrats that's when companies that's inside of the s p 500 that's the top 500 companies in america and they increase their dividend payments every single year for the last 25 years now in this video i'm talking about dividend kings let me say that again dividend kings dividend kings is when a company is inside the s p 500 Remember Remember, you got to be the top 500 companies in America and you increase your dividends every single year, every single year, even through recessions, depressions, epidemics, throughout all that, they managed to increase their dividends every single year for the last 50 years. Now, dividend, um, now dividend kings, there are a couple, couple of them out there. I like Johnson & Johnson. I like Procter & Gamble. I like Coca-Cola. I like, uh, I think PepsiCo just became a dividend king, PEP. All of these companies usually statistically have shown when the stock market is um, going down or in a recession, they do not fall as much. Some of them even go up in the recession, but they do not fall as much. Let's say the stock market fell 30%. These dividend kings might only fall 6%. So that's protecting your money. And the great thing about it is why people love investing to dividends during a recession is because now that you're invested to these dividend kings they're going to give you out your checks every single quarter so you still have a source of income when everyone else's money is being cut when they, when people are losing their job you're still going to have a source of income every month or every quarter from these dividend kings in order to still pay your bills put food on your table gas in your car and just live your everyday life from these checks that these companies that these dividends are going to be paying out to their investors just from holding on to shares from that company so there we go guys i listed three i want you to go down in the comment section tell me your favorite one their stock splits um the example was apple and tesla stock splits usually outperform the stock market by eight percent within a year if it's a good company now the thing about stock splits is that they do not happen often so when you do see the opportunity when i do see the opportunity i hop on as long as it's a good quality company number two is um share buybacks now when i see microsoft announce uh 500 million dollar share buyback cool when i see microsoft announce a 4.9 billion dollar buyback hey that's a little different right there so that's the ones i keep my eye on once again microsoft do it do it often but it's not always the same price and then number three dividend kings it protects yourself in a recession it protects yourself when the market's trading sideways and you're also going to have extra income by doing absolutely nothing these companies pay you dividends by doing absolutely nothing and you're creating passive income so let me know down below in the comment section uh one stock splits two share buyback or three 
passive income with dividends let me know which one is your favorite down in the comment section but that's it guys don't forget to click the link down in the description that'll take it to moo 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 is by far having their best promotions yet um you sign up deposit 100 dollars, get 16 free shares um that's a that's a that's an amazing way to start your investing journey if you're trying to find out the best way to invest a thousand dollars and you got extra money on the side getting free shares is an awesome jump start if you're trying to do that so don't miss out on the awesome moo moo opportunity down with the link in the description also i have a free ebook if you guys want to know more about passive income and dividend investing click the link down the pin comment section that'll take you to my ebook sign up with that and also join the patreon where i post where i buy and sell all of my stocks where i post where i buy and sell all of my stocks and we also have pro day traders in there that post their day trades their option trades every single day so if you want to be a part of an awesome community that want to be uh, financially free just like you go ahead and join that community with the patreon but other than that guys i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace